Hello and welcome to Vikram Loves to Freelance. In this video, I want to urge all uh, contractors or freelancers out there to not bid low. You know, especially when it comes to your typical rate at which you work. Why on earth should you compromise on that? Are we living in a world where prices are coming down? Are we living in a world where we are paying less for what we used to pay more? I don't think so. And when that is the case, you should not bid low. And especially when if, if at a time you used to receive, say, more pay for the same kind of work which you were doing, why on earth should you be bidding less? Because by bidding less, you're giving out confusing signals to project owners. You should never do that. And I especially say this about, you know, Western or American freelancers who I find are often bidding unrealistic amounts, completely unrealistic amounts. If you're working, say, say for when it comes to content development, if you're working at, say, I don't know, $3 an article of even $5 an article, that is unrealistic for an American freelancer. You should not do that. If you do that, freelancers in other parts of the world are compelled to work at, you know, subpar wages. They, they are compelled to work at $3 an article, $2 an article, simply because the project owner thinks that if, if an American freelancer is willing to work at so less, I can always have another freelancer in cheaper parts of the world for even less. And here, believe me, the prices are skyrocketing. You, what we used to earn, say, even uh, five years ago, you know, if that same amount we had to earn now, we'll probably be on the streets. You know, inflation is so high. And that's where I feel don't compromise on your professional integrity. Ensure that you bid realistically. If you're, as an American freelancer, if your typical rate of working is, say, $75 an hour, $100 an hour, $200 an hour, maintain that. Maintain that. Try and get work. You don't need to work on the cheapskate projects. You don't need to work with cheapskate clients. You should work on projects which pay you realistically. And believe me, if even if you just stick to those uh, projects with realistic pay you will still do very well it's you don't need those you know other projects which pay so less leave them to the cheaper providers you stick to your guns make sure that you bid realistically make sure you bid enough which actually gets you adequate money to put to to ensure that you have the kind of lifestyle which you've typically had agreed on freelance platforms like elance or odesk or guru or freelancer.com we are seeing immense competition Yet, I would say that even with all of this competition, it doesn't mean that you need to compromise on your overall professional, ethical, moral integrity. It doesn't mean that you come down to levels of, say, country, people, people from third world countries or freelancers from third world countries where, uh, you know, reasonably less pay also works out fine. In Western countries, most parts of Europe and America, Canada, Australia, these kind of countries, very cheap pay, very low pay does not work out, does not pay anything. I have seen life in these countries and I know for sure that, you know, if you're earning really well, you don't do, you don't achieve anything. So when that is the case, you should not bid low. I hope I've been able to inspire people out there to avoid bidding low. Remember that, you know, if you think that, oh, I don't have any feedback. So the best way is to bid low and try and get that project win feedback and then raise my rates. You don't need to do that. Even with no feedback, zero project history, you can actually stick to your guns, make sure that you 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 kind of entice the project owner on, on the basis of your capability, of your professional experience, not on the basis of your rates. If you've been, uh, say, a writer for a prestigious uh, newspaper or magazine or any other publication, win projects on that basis not on your rates that's where you will find that you know project owners the clients on on these freelance sites will respect you much more and from day one from the very beginning from your first project you will be able to win good quality projects which will pay you you know realistically rather than this these low rates which we are seeing all around so cheers on that note